course we'll have a look. Every time you open your phone, thinking it's just going to be 10 minutes. Whether it's the first thing in the morning, during travel, at work, eating your meals, or worst of all, even at the gym. You're just wasting time. You're ruining that one activity that you could have actually enjoyed without using your phone. And no, this isn't a productivity rant. This is honestly just reality. It's happening to most of us every single day. Instagram reels, Twitter rabbit holes, YouTube shorts. It feels like nothing, but you lose hours. Cool. So this isn't another digital detox guide. YouTube is filled with those. So what we did instead was build an Android app to actually break the mindless scroll. And here's how it works. So here's your home screen and it shows you your usage, much like digital well-being. So you'll see a button that blocks distracting apps, which locks you out for five minutes by default. When the timer is up, you hit a block screen with a choice. You can either exit back to your phone's home screen or you can earn more time. If you choose to continue, you have to solve two quick math problems. Pass the test and you get another 15 minutes. It's just enough friction to make you question if you really need to open that app again. So for the next 10 minutes, we're going to build this exact app from scratch, even if you've never written a single line of code before. And hey, if you want an iPhone version, let us know in the comments and we'll build that next. So before we do anything, first we need to focus on setting up the tools. So let's get your setup sorted. So you'll majorly need just two things. First is Android Studio, which is the official toolkit for building Android applications, and Cursor, which is an AI-powered IDE that does the heavy lifting for you. And minorly, you'll need Claude and ChatGPT, depending on your preference, because nothing really moves without them nowadays. So for the first thing you're gonna do is download the latest version of Android Studio by going to the official Android developer site. Then the next thing is you're gonna to need to install Cursor. If you haven't already, Cursor is just like VS Code, but with an actual brain. And this is what we'll use to write and debug the app with AI. We've actually used Cursor to build a bunch of stuff before. So feel free to check out our other videos later if you wanna go deeper on Cursor. Once that's done, you're ready to build. Now we move on to chapter two, planning the application. So just because you install the tools doesn't mean you're ready to just jump in and start coding. Always remember, when building a project, never be that person that's always like, ah, I'll figure it out later. You'll end up with messy, half-working apps that go absolutely nowhere. Trust me, you've tried it from experience. Instead, think like a real team, like product plus design plus development, all working in sync. So just like real product teams, let's write a proper PRD using AI. So for the PRD, we're gonna be using Claude and here's what we're gonna do. So you're just gonna open up Claude and type, hey, I want to build an create a PRD for this. So within seconds, you'll have a really super clean breakdown of what the app actually does and every detail about the app. Chapter three, start your Android project. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Android Studio and hit new project. So over here, you can pick the empty activity template, okay? You can name it Brain Detox, or if you've got a knack for a better name, then please, by all means, go ahead, use that. Since we're building version one, we're gonna keep it really minimal, without any login screens or dark modes, but we'll introduce that later. Okay, so to run the project, you need an Android. So click on Device Manager, and here you can either spin up a new virtual mobile or connect your own. So we're gonna be using ours, and if you want to connect yours, make sure you turn on the wireless debugging from developer options and that way you'll be good to go. Okay, so now... Okay, everything is set up. I can run this project. You see, showing hello Android also. Okay, so with your Android project ready, it's now time for AI to take over. The next thing you're gonna need to do is open cursor and load your entire Android project folder into it. You'll see an option to open a project, so just point it to your Android project files, and once you're inside, don't get overwhelmed by the file jungle. So here's something cool about Android Studio. It auto-generates a bunch of boilerplate stuff. So folders, Java, Kotlin files, XML layouts, and, and, and so on. So this is all standard and is also really useful. But here's the best part. You won't touch most of it manually. All right, so now once you're done with that, you need to go to Composer in Cursor and paste the PRD that we got from Claude. That's it. Cursor reads your PRD, understands the structure, and starts generating real code. And once your code is ready, you can go back to Android Studio, sync project with Gradle files, and run the application. Then check if the flow is making sense and see if things are working or not. All right, so once you're done with that, the next thing that you need to do 
is come back to Cursor. All right. So now once you're here in Cursor, you can start adding more features like add a timer that tracks screen time from when the phone is unlocked. Uh, you can also add push notifications. So now with these new features, let's go back to Android Studio and run the app once more. Awesome. Okay, this is working as intended. So now for the final touch, redesign the UI to make it cleaner, more modern and easier to use. And just like that, we built an entire application from scratch, which works and also looks good. So now we move on to chapter four, designing a custom app icon. Now for users to download our app, we need an app icon. So for that, you can either go to ChatGPT or Midjourney and drop this prompt. Design a minimal Android app icon for an app called Brain Detox. Theme, digital wellness, clarity, calming, and anti-dopamine loop. Okay. So you're gonna get a bunch of concepts, pick your favorite, tweak it if needed, and upscale it to 512 into 512. Then you need to go back to Android Studio, right click on the res folder, new image asset, and now you can upload that same icon that you just downloaded. All right, so everything is working in the Android Studio. And this is fine if I'm the only one who's using the app, but to share this app with everyone, we need an APK file. So. Let's create one. Chapter five, export your APK. All right, so to export your APK, the next thing that you're going to need to do is head over to build, then go to build bundle and build APK. Okay, so now you need to wait for a few seconds and Android Studio will generate the APK file for you. Okay, so this file is your app. So with this, you can install it on any Android mobile phone manually. You can share it to WhatsApp, Telegram, or wherever, basically. And you can also upload it to the Google Play Store if you want to go public. So now you have a working application built in under 10 minutes without writing a single line of raw code. Also, all our code for this project is available on public on GitHub. So go check it out, add more features, and make a new version out of it, even if you want to do that. All right, so let's end this one here and quickly recap everything that we've done. So the first thing we did was we installed Android Studio. We used Claude to create the project requirement docs. We used Cursor to write and iterate the code. We made a clean icon with AI, and then we exported a working APK all without writing a single line of raw code. No code, no stress, but still a real product. So if you like this video, make sure to check out our other ones on the channel and consider subscribing. And until next time, keep building, keep experimenting and stay tuned for more.